YouTube, welcome YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. What am I going to do today? Oh, uh, I am about to do the full tutorial on how to make clones of yourself in a video using CapCut. Okay, this is a highly requested video. Okay, <clears throat> after I made a one minute version of this video, okay, I, I have a, a lot of requests to make the full version because this video is not, this effect is not easy to make. Okay, um, it's, if you are a beginner, I wouldn't say it's not for beginner. If you're a beginner, this is the best chance for you to join in this, this, I call this a class, this CapCut video editing class because I'm going to explain it as if you are a beginner and I'm going to explain all the concepts of video editing that I use for this particular video. Things like masking, uh, removing background, layering, uh, adding effects, adding sound effects. Okay, so there's a lot of elements in this video. All right, so before we begin, let's take a look at the one minute tutorial first. Okay, here goes, let me increase my volume. Video using CapCut. First, record yourself posing as each clone in one take. <laughs> Open CapCut and start a new project. Select the recording and tap on Add. Split each clone into a clip. Except for the original clone, apply overlay on the other clones. Stack them up, apply, cut out and remove background on every clone. Rearrange the clones so they appear at the right time. On the first clone clip, add a keyframe at the start. Add another keyframe at the end. Move the clone to a new position. Do the same for the other clones. Leave a comment if you'd like me to do a full tutorial. How to make clones of yourself. Okay, there you go. I ended up with, with the comment saying, leave a comment if you want me to make the full tutorial. And I do. I did receive a lot of comments because I know this one minute, one minute tutorial didn't cover everything. Didn't. Okay, what is everything? Okay, I want, I want to show you the original again, the original version of this video. Okay, I'm going to show you the original version of this video. Stand by. Okay, let it load. This video is quite heavy, it's got a lot of elements involved. Alright, play. This is the original, just, just watch. Right, it's only eight seconds. This video is only eight seconds. And a lot a lot of people, it went viral, okay, it went viral. A lot of people love it. And it's still going viral on my Facebook Reels and Instagram Reels. This thing is still going viral. Going viral means people are sharing it, sharing it with their friends, and their friends share with another friends and then go on and on and on. That's, that's the meaning of viral. So people are asking me, hey, Tell us exactly how to do, including this final part, how I fly back and stick to my own body. All right. So it's so complex that I hope I can remember exactly what I did here, you know. So let's, let's go on. Shall we begin? First, I will show you what you must shoot first. Okay, I'm going to bring you to that, that, that video that I shot. All right. That video was shot a long time ago, so we're going to scroll down memory lane, down memory lane, down memory lane, scroll down. I'm bringing you to that video. Okay, it was shot during the class. Surprisingly, it was shot during my actual face-to-face -face class in front of my students. Alright, not here. In front of my students. In fact, this particular video wasn't my idea at all. It's my students' idea. They were challenging CapCut. Can CapCut do this or not? Can CapCut do that or not? Can or cannot until we reach this level. And Cap and yet CapCut can handle it. You know what I'm trying to say? CapCut can handle it. Okay, it's all the way. Alright, let me show you. Okay, 
instead of showing you here, I am going to go to I'm going to go into CapCut by itself. Because it's because it's too far away, I cannot find. Okay now. Let's open CapCut. Okay, let me let me close this CapCut and start from fresh. Let's open CapCut. Okay, we're gonna start a new project. I've already done it here already, but I'm gonna start all over again for you to see. Okay, um, tap on new project. Okay, now we are gonna select the, ah, yeah, it's right over here. So I should have come here earlier. Okay, so select the recording, select the recording and tap on add. Okay, before we edit, I'm gonna show you the recording first, how to record. First, place your camera on a tripod. This one, your camera got to be stable. You cannot ask somebody to hold a camera. Place it on a tripod. Second, uh, lock focus. I hope you all know what's the meaning of lock focus. If I go to my camera, okay, uh, lock focus means you press and hold until you see the lock. For iPhone, you will see AEAF lock. What it does is uh, it locks the exposure and focus so that it doesn't drift, all right? If it drifts, it's very hard to combine multiple pictures together. So remember to press and hold to lock focus and exposure. But don't, because I'm gonna move back a little bit, you have to lock on the wall itself. Press on the wall and lock it, okay? So for this particular one, I locked it. it I pressed the door because I'm a one-man show, so I'm not inside it. I know I'm going to stand right beside the door, door knob. So I, I, I press and hold the cameras. I press and hold the, the screen on the door knob to lock focus and exposure. Okay, then. Okay, then I walk in. Okay, and stand by. Okay, the first action is. Some people tell me this is Naruto. I think it's Naruto. I don't know. Whatever it is. Okay, now. Now. The first section is, you go, Hey, wait a minute, this is Superman. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Okay, so let's let's go open a new project again. Oh man, I downloaded the wrong one. Okay, so after all the preparation is, is the wrong one. Um, let me see if I still have it here. Open a new project. Okay. Boo boo. I prepared the wrong file. That was. That was. Okay, is it here? No. Before my cook up trip. Before my cook up trip before my cook up trip somewhere here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here, here. Let's let's check, let's check. 28 seconds. Let's listen, let's watch. Alright. Alright, this is the one. Let's Select it and tap on add. Tap on add. Okay, now we got the right one. Okay, so so I mentioned the door. I lock focus on an exposure on the door, and uh, in fact, I recorded the blank space for for about ten seconds. It will come in handy, the blank space without anybody inside, without any movement inside. I just want the blank space. Okay, for about 10 seconds. And then I walk in and stand by. And I do the first action. Boom! Okay, I squat down. As if I'm doing the magic. What do you call it? Naruto? Naruto call it? Uh, give me the name. Okay, uh, do the magic. And I squat down. Then my clones will come up. Alright? And then I stand up again. I, I, I play for you to see. I play for you to see. Okay, I squat down. Boom! And then, okay, one clone goes up, another clone goes up, and the final clone 
goes the other way. Okay, when I'm done, I walk back. Done. Alright, so Jutsu, is it? Okay, one of one of the viewers say it's called Jutsu. Jutsu? Naruto Jutsu. So you saw me do the main the main the main character goes boom squat down and then while still at the position you do the first clone flying out and then the second clone flying out. The first clone fly out from the left, second clone fly out from the right, and the last clone will fly upwards. Okay, that's it. Alright, and then going off. Okay, this this should only last 28 seconds. Very fast, 28 seconds. Alright. So now I'll begin editing. Okay, uh, since you joined this class, I'm going to show you what are the extra things that I do whenever I edit a video. Okay, um, Ken, Ken Kaneki says it's Shadow Clone Jutsu, Shadow Clone Jutsu or Kage Bushin. No, Jutsu, Jutsu, Jutsu. that's Naruto used to it. Okay, alright, Shadow Clone Jutsu. Okay, what I do to my video is this. If you look at my my body, it's a little bit dark. It's a little bit dark. I noticed that people prefer to see bright videos. Bright videos seems to get more attention than than uh, dull, dark videos. I mean, the main subject. You can have a dull, dark video, but the main subject must be obvious. So I'm going to increase the overall brightness first. Okay, tap on the clip, and in the toolbar, go to adjust. I'm going to adjust the exposure. Just exposure. I'm going to increase it. Okay, see how bright, how I brighten up a little bit. Not too much. Just a little bit. So that I can see the details on my shirt. Black shirt and black pants. Okay. Alright. That's all I need. Usually I'll adjust the shadow, shadow and highlights as well. But, but to keep things simple, exposure seems to do the work. But let's adjust shadow and see what happens. Okay, it does help a little bit. Okay, up a bit and then I go back to exposure and bring it down. What I'm trying to do is make my black shirt and black pants a little bit more visible. A little bit more visible than complete darkness. Okay, see I'm wearing all black including my shoes and the floor is also grey colour. Okay, tap on the check mark. Okay, now I've brightened, I've brightened the picture. Okay, uh, so we are still on the first clip, 28 second clip. Okay, right now, we are going to start the edit. Okay, let's go to the starting point. Okay, the, the original Adrian is going to start to go down and force the clones to come up. Okay, ready? Make him, I'll start from the part where he stand, where he stand straight. All right, here. Let's do a split at this point. Select the clip and tap on split. Okay, the front part, the empty room. I might need it later on, so let me shift it to the back. Okay, let's, let's just leave it at the back. I forgot whether I use, I need I need to use the empty room or not. So. So, I will go down, boom, and then all of the clones come up. Okay, by right, I should have finished, but now we will work on the first clone. Okay, the first clone will, will float out from here. Let's find the starting point. Okay, starting point is here. Let's do a split, and the first clone will float out. And end, okay, that's it. The ending point is here. You float up and stay there, right? Stay there. Now I'm going to do a split. So we got the first clone here. Now let's continue. Okay, let's look out for a second clone. Second clone starts from here. Wait, before that. Okay, it starts from here. Let's do a split. Now the one in between, I don't want Let's do delete. Okay, second clone starts from here and floats up. Okay, come back, relax. Now, okay, he ends off here. Ends off here, so let's do a split here. Now look for the third clone. Third clone starts from... Go back a bit. 
uh, I think it starts from here. Do a split, a click before that, and delete. And the third clone goes up, and then, oh, okay, up, and I think he'll stay there, stay there. Okay, now, now um, let's do a split here. All right, and it comes down. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, um, so here's what we're gonna do. Okay, the part walking back, I'm gonna delete, delete and empty room okay to make the tutorial clearer okay never mind i'll leave the empty room there okay i've i've split up each clone on the main track okay that's easy right that's very basic so now we are going to do overlay overlay okay layering layering we're going to bring down each clone one by one okay ready the first clone select and choose the overlay command, which is over here, overlay command, tap on it. See, it goes down. Just carry, carry it in. We will do the alignment later. Now, uh, second one, let's choose overlay command. Overlay command is over here, overlay command, so we bring down. Now, carry this second clone underneath the first clone. Okay, we are stacking them up. This is called overlay, stacking up. And, uh, oh no, your power is going to deplete very soon. Gosh. Okay. Uh, TikTok people, if your, if your stream goes up, please go to my YouTube channel and continue this stream. All right? Because I think the power is having issue. Okay. Uh, if my stream goes up, go to, the, go to my YouTube channel and continue the lesson. All right. Now for the third clone, I am going to, again, apply the same overlay and then carry it down underneath the first two clones. All right. So behind here will be the empty room. Let's ignore the empty room for now. Okay, so we are now going to make we're not going to make the clones. Okay, get ready. For each of the clones, we're going to apply remove background. So let's start with the first one. Or let's, let's start with the third one. Okay, uh, select it and choose cut out. Okay, choose remove background. Okay, wait for a while. It will take its time to remove background. All right. Did it happen? Did the background remove? Uh, I don't think so. No, wait, you can't see it. You can't see it now. Okay, let's choose the second second clone. Now type on remove background. All right, done. Now let's select the first clone. Tap on remove background. Boop, done. All right, so you see the three clones now. They are still standing on the floor. They are all still standing on the floor. So now, we are going to make them float up, clone by clone, shall we? Let's start with the first clone on the left-hand side. Okay, I'm going to align. Okay, that's, that's fine. When, when the original Adrian goes, boom. Okay, once you reach the squatting position, squat. Boom, the backside hits the chair. That's the point where where all the clones float out from his from his body. So let's align this together. Align. Align. Alright. Okay, that's when all the clones come out. Boom. Okay, let's do the first clone first. First clone. Okay, let's select it. Now. I'm going to use keyframe. Here's the trick. I want to put keyframe right at the beginning of this clone. But it's very difficult to get the beginning. So I'm going to stretch open the timeline. There's no way to reach the beginning unless I bring the timeline out of the clip. And then I tap on the clip. Boop, the timeline will automatically touch the first frame of this clip that I select. 
So I know it's exactly the first frame because that's where I want to add the keyframe. So I'm going to add the keyframe here. The keyframe is the diamond that appears underneath the preview panel. Tap. And then you'll see a red diamond appear in the clip. Alright. Now. Now let's go to the other end. The other end of this clip. The other end of this clip. Somewhere here. Okay. Okay, here we have an issue. Before I do the other end, I would like to align them all together because they're they are, they are all going to stop at the same time. Okay, align, make them all stop at the same time. They all, they all come up together and stop together. Okay, um, okay, again, I bring the timeline out away from the clip and now I'm going to press tap on the first clone clip which brings the playhead to touch the end of the first clone clip. All right, I hope you know what I mean. And that's where I'm going to introduce the second keyframe. Okay, you see the diamond here? Now, while we are still here, we are going to lift him up now. You lift me up so high I can see the mountain. Okay, maybe not so high. Oh, yeah, somewhere here. All right. See, it goes back again when I move back. Okay, let's just test the first clip first. Oh, there's a lot of sound. Each one will say, oh. And there's four of them saying, oh. Okay, now. Now, uh, yep. So the first clone is done. Now we do the second clone. Bring the playhead outside the clip. And then tap on the second clone clip. Poop, that will bring the plate to touch the first frame of the clip exactly, precisely. So now <clears throat> I'm going to tap on the keyframe, the diamond. Poop, make sure there's a red diamond appearing there on the first frame. Key keyframe is like a pin. It pins down this Adrian. Adrian starts from here and ends up on the other side. So it pins down the Adrian on, on the floor. And then the other pin will lift, will lift Adrian up. Second clone Adrian, second clone Adrian up. Okay, bring the plate out of the second clone clip and then tap on the second clone clip so that the plate will just jump right in precisely to hit the, f the last frame. Okay, actually, I don't have to, for your knowledge, I don't have to, for the second keyframe, I don't have to tap the diamond here. Straight away, just move the second clone to where it's supposed to fly to. And then automatically the keyframe appears, right? As long as you generate the first keyframe, the subsequent keyframes will automatically appear when you move your move your video in the preview panel. Okay, third one, the third clone Adrian. Okay, I'm going to Okay, let's take a look first. So second clone Adrian and the, the first clone Adrian, second clone Adrian is flying in the correct places. Now the third clone Adrian. Okay, bring the playhead out of the third clone Adrian. Now tap on the third clone Adrian clip. That brings us precisely to hit the first frame of the third clone Adrian. And uh, <coughs> tap on the keyframe. Boop. There. Make sure you can see the red keyframe appearing here. Now go to the end, the other end. Okay, intentionally get out away from the clip. Okay, exit first and then now tap the third clone clip again so that the playhead will, will hit, jump back right in to hit exactly the last frame of the third clone clip. Okay, again, to save time, I don't have to do a second keyframe because when I move the clip, the second keyframe will appear. Watch, the diamond will appear here. Alright, automatically. So the third Adrian clone will fly up almost touching the the ceiling. All right. All right. All right. Isn't that wonderful? Now, when I play back, let's tap on the blank space and play back. Let's, let's see what we've done. Whoa. Okay. Okay. That's where my one minute tutorial ends. All right. My one, the, my, my one minute tutorial ends. That's where people, when they follow me, they, they get confused. Hey, wait a minute. Look. Look at the clones. They are overlapping in the wrong way. 
they are overlapping in the wrong way. They are supposed to be behind me, not in front of the original clone. Notice the clone should be behind. All right, and I want the the highest clone to be the furthest back, so his his arms shouldn't be blocking the first clone. You know what I mean? And because it's furthest back, I want to put one more effect. Okay, I'm going back to the last frame of uh, of the of the third clone. I'm gonna make him smaller. Make him smaller because he's supposed to be at the back. He's supposed to be at the back. All right, he's supposed to be at the back. When you go back further away from the camera, you you appear smaller. All right, so that is the effect. Okay, now now we are going to rearrange them so that they appear in the correct order. But before that, the original Adrian must be in front. So you know what to do now? Here is the trick. Okay, it's going to be very dangerous trick now. Okay, this is going to be very tricky. I'm going to put one more Adrian in front. One more layer, one more layer. One more layer. Okay. Because all this all these clones will be blocking the original Adrian, which is not what I want. You see, once I, once I boom, then they appear, right? I slow down for you to see. I slow down. When I boom, suddenly all the three Adrians appear, blocking the first Adrian. I don't want that to happen. I want them to appear behind the original Adrian, behind, not in front. I don't know how Naruto does it, but but for me, if I want to create a clone, they should be behind me, not in front of me. So here's how am I gonna how I'm gonna put myself in front. Okay, the original Adrian. Watch. I'm gonna tap on the first original Adrian, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a copy. Find the copy command at the back. Okay, copy. And this is the copied version. And I'm going to bring it down by going to the overlay command, overlay, and uh, um, yep, I bring it, carry it down, all the way down. Okay, can't see it anymore, right? So let's move. Okay, see there's three layers here. This original agent will be the fourth layer, fourth, fourth layer. Okay, I'm going to bring it all the way to the front because the alignment alignment here is very critical. You must be precise. You must be very precise. I'm going to cut off exactly here together with the rest. So how to do that? Again, I bring my playhead out of the clips here and I'm going to tap on one of them. Okay, that will bring me exactly to the starting point. So without moving the playhead, I am going to tap on the fourth layer and then tap on split okay this is very precise editing you cannot accidentally shift them anymore I'm going to I'm going to in fact I can leave this I can leave the first clip here you know okay it won't it won't spoil anything it won't spoil anything I can leave the first clip there I can leave the first clip there so okay I can choose to delete this or not all right but but let's leave it there first see what see what happens it will not make a difference. So for the fourth layer, let's do the remove background thing. Okay, so select it and and select cut out. Select remove background. You see, you see? So now the original agent is in front of all the clones. Okay, we are gonna have a problem here. The fact that the fact that most of you cannot do it follow properly because I didn't reveal the secret. I didn't reveal the secret. Okay, uh, what is the secret? The secret is this. Adrian squat down and boom! All the clones are not squatting down, the clones are standing up. It's very annoying. It's very annoying. Boom! All the clones are standing up. By right, I should have made the clone squat down and float away. Okay, that would be the easier one. But since I made a mistake, I'll bring them down. All right, I'll bring them down. So let's start from the first, first Adrian.
first agent clone. Okay, I'm going to tap on first agent clone. Okay, this step here, this step I'm doing, uh, need not be done if the shot is correct. All the clones should have started in a squatting position so that I don't have to do this step. Okay, but because I don't want to redo the shoot and because you will learn extra techniques on how to how you can repair your mistaken shot. Okay, so this is an extra step. If you have done it, if you have shot the video correctly, you don't have to do this step. But it's a bonus step because you're going to learn some extra things in this lesson for beginners. All right. Even if you're not a beginner, this will be an extra thing to learn. All right. So when agents squat down, all the clones come up. But you notice, hey, the clones are supposed to be coming out from my body. And I'm supposed to be squatting down, not standing up. You see, all the clones are suddenly standing up. So what to do? I'm going to make them squat down. Okay, watch. Let's start with the first clone Adrian. Bring him down. Okay, maybe I should start with the third clone Adrian. Because I can see. Okay, third clone Adrian. Bring him down. So that his head align with the original clone head. Alright, here. Now let's do a second Adrian. Come out, go, go in. Okay, let's adjust the second Adrian. Make the head align with the first original Adrian head. Okay, now let's go to the, let's move the plate away and then tap on the first Adrian clone to get to the first frame. Now align the first Adrian clone, make his head go behind the original Adrian. Now, look, when I play back, when I scrub through, boom. So it appears that all the Adrian's clone come out from my body. This is better than Naruto. I think Naruto just come out suddenly. I never watched Naruto, so I don't know. But based on my imagination, these clones are supposed to come out from my body, not appear suddenly. Okay, not like Dr. Fate. Okay, Dr. Fate from Black Adam, his clones just appear anywhere they like. For me, my clones are supposed to be produced from my body. All right, like a ghost, multiple souls coming up from my body. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, leave questions. Leave questions. If you get stuck somewhere, feel free to play back this video or leave me questions to clarify, right? Okay, now I know you have a question. Hey, you align the head nicely, but, but look at the leg. The leg is terrible. You see so many legs, so many legs. What am I going to do? Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> before we handle the legs, let's handle... Let's handle the clone layer first. Alright, let's handle the clone layer. I want the third Adrian clone to be behind, the furthest back. So his arms shouldn't be blocking clone 1 and clone 2. How to do that? Let's select the third Adrian clone and in the toolbar main, uh, sorry, in the toolbar, look for layer, this one, layer. Oops, this is the command layer. Select layer. Okay, notice there's one, two, three, four. That represents the four layers that we created just now, the four overlays. One being the, the one behind. Four is in front. So, we're going to bring the vertic um, the the third Adrian clone all the way to the back by selecting one. Boop! See that? He's behind them now. Oh, this is cool, man. Okay, let's move. All right. So the rest are in their place already. The rest are in their place, so I don't have to worry. So tap on the check mark. So this is how you do layering. All right, go to layers. If you notice that one layer is not fitting the other layer, then then go to the layer command and change the priority and bring him to the back. Okay, the other two, do I need to adjust? No need. It is nicely coming out from behind the original Adrian. Okay. All right, so far so good. So far so good. Okay, some of us, our phone, like my phone, is not powerful enough. So when you play back, 
there's going to be some lagginess. All right, we are not done yet, yeah. This is this is still very rough. Okay, from here on, we are going to polish it. Basically, the effect is there, but it's not polished. It's not polished. Okay, there's a few ways to polish. Okay, watch first. Okay, I will call that unnatural. The way the the way the clones fly out from the body is unnatural. The motion is unnatural. You know when you when you hit a shuttlecock with a badminton or a tennis ball with a racket, when you hit boom and the and the ball flies across, right? It didn't fly at the same speed. Okay, like like all these clones are moving at the same speed. Okay, in reality, the first motion should be fast. Okay, back to the tennis ball. When you hit the ball, it should go very fast. And then when it continues flying, it will slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. That's the natural way of flying. So, how to do that on CapCut? Do you know that CapCut is damn bloody professional? We can do that. It's called Speed Ram. Speed Ram. We're going to introduce Gruff. Okay, let's do it on the first clone. This will only work if you have keyframes. So we already have two keyframes. Let me, I can reduce them now. One, two, one at the beginning, one at the back. Once you select the clip, put it in between the keyframes and you go all the way. L look for, it's the last tool here in 2022. This is the last tool. Graphs, all right, graphs over here, graphs. Okay, tap on graphs. Okay, see there's many, many graphs. The common one is ease in and ease out. Okay, see the way they draw the graph? When the graph is gentle, means it's slow. When it's steep, means it's fast. So definitely we want, we want the ease out. We want the fast and then slow, all right? Let's tap, select. Okay, can you see? Look, look at the first clone now. All right, he bounces up very fast and then slow down as he climb, as he climbs up, as he as he floats up. So the first agent, see, bounces up very fast and slows down as he goes higher. So now let's apply the graph on the other agent two now. Okay, click, put a playhead between the two. It can be anywhere between the two, two keyframes. Okay, go to the last, it's all, all the way at the back. Graphs, tap on graphs, same thing, ease out number one. Okay, now that we know, okay, now you see, now that clone one and clone two move very fast, you see the third clone is at constant speed. All right, constant speed is a not natural way of flying. Presume that they are flying. Okay, third clone, Select the third clone, go to graphs, select ease out number one. All right, so now they fly out naturally. They fly out naturally. Do you all see that? So if you have seen all my flying videos, they look net, they somehow look natural because of graphs, which I didn't teach in my one minute video because it's gonna confuse a whole lot of beginners what are you doing with graphs? Okay, so that's why I'm gonna sell this course that you're watching right now if you're watching the live version. You're watching the live version, you're watching for free. After this live, it's gonna be cancelled, uh, deleted, and I'm gonna sell it in my gum rope. Okay, so look at the comments. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to tell you where, where to buy my videography course. Videography and video editing course. Smartphone video making course okay now the flying is done the flying is done we are going to resolve the leg issue first suddenly there are so many legs below right it's also a mistake again we don't have to do this step if during the shoot all the clones start from the squatting position then we don't have to do this step Okay, next time if you want to do this, start from the squat position before the clone fly left, right, up. Alright, I repeat that. Huh? 
I made a mistake, all the clones started in a standing position. That's why we are repairing the mistake now. If you're going to shoot this for your own, for your own trial, every clone should start flying from the same squatting position like that. All right. So you don't have to do this step. Now I'm actually doing this step to repair the, the mistake, which is a bonus lesson. You're going to learn a new technique. You're going to learn a new technique. Okay, before we learn a new, before we go to that technique, I would like to, oh wait, uh, okay, let's do it now. Let's do it now. Let's do it now. I am going to use something to cover up the legs. Alright, I'm going to use something to cover up the legs. Okay, here goes. Let's go back to the main menu. I'm going to go to stickers. Okay, stickers. I will be going to the superpower stickers. Oh, not this one. Superpower stickers. <laughs> Over here. Alright. This is the superpower. Okay, I'm looking for something that resembles a uh, explosion, a clean explosion. Uh, boom. Boom. Okay, this one could work. But uh, let me try, let me look for another one. I can't remember which one I used in the original video, but um, I could use this one, but it doesn't cover. Don't tell me it looks unrealistic, right? This whole thing is, is already unrealistic. It's a cartoon, man, it's a cartoon. Okay, I think I'll choose this one. Okay. Boom, let's make it bigger a little bit. Oh. Let's let's crop across. Boom. Okay. Let's appear earlier. The explosion should appear when when all of them come up. Boom. Boom. Okay. Slow down. I, I'm gonna move faster. Boom. Okay. Not yet. Let's bring it back. Start later. Okay. It should be bigger. Let's make it bigger. All right. Mm. I forgot if I can change the speed. No, I can't. I can't change the speed of this. Okay. Boom. Boom. Okay. Here. Let's bring it earlier. So I'm I'm doing precise adjustment, not timing adjustment. Boom. Okay. Step by step, frame by frame. Let's let's expand it frame by frame. I want the biggest explosion here. This will cover up the legs. Okay, this explosion will cover the legs because the next moment it will open up, right? So let's time this biggest explosion with all the legs appearing. Is it right? I think it's about there now. Yeah, it's about there. So this is a technique to cover a mistake. Okay, use a sticker, an instantaneous sticker. Look. So I've aligned the, the sticker explosion where the biggest part appear, all white. It will cover all the legs when all the clone appear, here. All the clone appear, okay. It covers, people won't notice, I can, I can bring it lower if you want. So you will notice the legs, yep. And let's make it bigger, bigger. So I can cover all the legs. Oh, the legs. All right. Some feet there is not noticeable. It's okay. The distraction. The distraction is there. Boom. But I want to bring it higher a bit. So that it, the first explosion is like in between my feet. In between my feet. The spark. All right. Okay. So, so the explosion sticker is a... Okay. It loops, right? So let's cut it off. Okay, down here, finish it. So let's split the sticker. We don't want the, we don't need to loop. Delete. Okay, let's try again. Yeah. So now you have covered up your mistake. All right. And then, how about the lightning? Okay, in the class, in the actual classroom, once I do this, then the students, my students, one of my students, want to challenge further. Can you add lightning 
when all the clones appear, can you add lightning? Can you add lightning? So, so I went on and said, yes, of course. Okay. So not just clones appearing, but when the clones appear, we're going to have lightning. Okay, ready? Okay, so let's go to the point here. The clones appear. Not here. Clones appear. It should be here, actually, together with the spark. Okay, let's go to effects. Go to the main menu. Go back to the main menu. Go to effects. Go to video effects. And uh, we're going to choose lightning. Okay, lightning is under the category called sparks. Is it sparks? No, it's not sparks. It's under nature. Nature, yep. There are a couple of lightnings. I think let's, I think I chose this lightning. Uh, yep, yep. Uh, no, not this one. There should be another lightning. You know why I don't like this lightning? There's some black involved. Uh, let's choose another lightning. Another lightning. I think this one. Ah, uh, uh, this one, this one, this one. I prefer this one because the first lightning you see, there is some, there's some blackout happening at, in between. Whereas the, the last lightning, there's no blackout. There's blue. Alright. Leave it there. I'm going to tap the check mark. Select. Okay, now, now is to, now is to align them nicely. Okay. Boom. <laughs> I actually verbally says boom. <laughs> Can you hear? And then the clone says oh. Each clone says oh. Listen. <laughs> the original Adrian says boom. Then clone one, two, three says oh. <laughs> okay, I'm entertained by my own video. Okay, so now. Uh, it's not done yet now. Nah. They're still behind to, to resolve. Some people ask me how to do the how to do the ending part. How to how to stick myself back. Okay, how to stick myself back. Okay, now it gets better. I told you. Actually it sounds nice already. I, I say boom, then oh but we are gonna make a better sound effect. We're gonna add thunder. Okay, ready? Go back to the main menu, go to audio, go to effects. Okay, within CapCut itself, there's already thunder sound. All we need to go is go to ambience, ambience thunder. Let's listen first. Okay, not this one. Next one. Mm, not bad. Let's try the short one. Okay, short one is better. Okay, thunder short version. Click on the plus, tap on the plus button, bring it here. Okay, now let's align, align the sound effect to the visual. Okay, the lightning got to cover my boom sound already, so you cannot hear me say boom. Move a little bit. Okay, I said boom first. Let's move a little bit earlier. I am adjusting the sound effect to match my when to match the cracking of the thunder together with my the time when I say boom. Alright, somewhere there. Alright, getting better, getting better. Okay. If I start from the beginning it looks like this. Whoa Okay but the end is no good. The end is no good. Okay let me let me show you what the end the end looks like. Um, let's close this. In my original viral video, it, it looks like this. Watch. Alright, and then I stick back, I stick back, and then come down. So there's continuity. So there's continuity, you see. In fact, I receive a lot of questions. A. Hey, can you also teach us how you stick yourself back, stick back, stick back? How to do that? 
Okay, so now this part from here on of the tutorial is for those who ask me how to stick yourself back. Okay. For those who want to do the first part, you're also not done yet. You are also not done yet. Why? Because because at the end it just suddenly disappear. Watch. Okay, so suddenly disappear. You must end nicely. So let's go back in. Alright. You must end nicely. So they suddenly disappear. So here goes. I want them I want them to stay in mid-air for a few seconds, not suddenly disappear. Stay in mid-air. So that so that this Adrian can stick back to the body, to his clone. Alright. Now let me Okay, I don't think I need I don't I don't need the empty room anymore. So do I? Okay, I'll leave the empty room there first. Okay, I'm gonna stretch the the main video out. Oh no. Um wait a minute, let's let's undo. I will do it here instead. I'll do it here. Uh okay both both both. I will stretch this one out, the main video until Adrian walks away. Alright. And uh, for the fourth layer, remember it's a, it's a duplicate of the first layer, I'm going to stretch him out so until it goes out of the screen. Okay, I'll maximize it all the way. Alright, it goes out of the screen. We will, we will snip it off later. Alright, because he's going to do the motion right there. That's when he will stick back to his body. Okay, now Now, because it's moving very slow, oh, okay, I got it. So this is where my, where I need my empty room. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, now. Now, I'm going to make the clones hang there for a few seconds. How to do that? Let's start with the first clone. Move the plate away from the first clone. Tap the first clone so that the plate will go touch the end of the last frame exactly. And then we are going to go to the freeze frame. Ready? Tap on freeze frame. And that will create a freeze frame version. Alright. Okay, same. Freeze frame is a still photo. It's actually a still image. It's a still image of the last frame. So now, now let's do a second clone, Adrian. Okay, go to the last frame and choose freeze frame. All right. So now we have second clone and third clone, Adrian. Choose freeze frame. All right. So now we have three frame. Three. Okay. You notice they are all out of alignment. The fourth Adrian should be. The layer, right? Layer. Fourth agent should be in front. Go to layer. Okay, I missed layer. Layer is over here. Layer. Tap on layer. Fourth. Bring him in front. Okay, the first vertical agent should be number one. Tap on layer. Bring him behind. All right. Uh... Fourth layer, Adrian again, should be should be in front layer. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay, four. All right, all right. So now we get, we get the layering correct. All right, the the third Adrian should be all the way back. The original Adrian should be in front. Okay, so they are blocking each other in the correct manner. All right, so here goes. Now, now we are going to do something complicating. All right, complicating. Okay, so here's where my empty room comes in handy. I am going back to the first frame and 
you, you saw me extend this out, right? I shouldn't have extended this out. I'm going to bring it back in. I'm going to bring it back in all the way. All the way just before just before the freeze frame. All right, where's the freeze frame? Okay, just before freeze frame here. Freeze frame. Let me time it nicely. Yeah. So that this one is the empty room. Okay, you don't see the empty room. Look at the look at the look at the timeline. It's an empty room. Because that's when the original Adrian is going to fly up. Alright, it's going to fly up. Okay, I, I'm doing the timing now. He is so lifting himself up. Okay, let's scroll down. Here, I'm going to add a keyframe. Add. Okay, to pin his position down. Because the next position is is this right the highest position he's going to go up there Zzzz, stick exactly in stick in right I just move him in now boop and then he's gonna fly to the other one oops but the three clones has disappeared so I need to extend it let's reduce again okay let's extend the clones one by one make, make them longer all the way okay all the way second clone all the way longer a little bit because it's an image so we can extend it easily if it's a video we cannot extend it's an image it's a still image so i make them longer because this original agent is going to stick one by one all right stick there Okay, once it stick to the original Adrian, the first clone, stick to the first clone. That's where I'm going to stop. Okay, one more time. Stick to the first Let me do it properly first. Where's the keyframe? Let's go to the keyframe. Okay, I stick to the original Adrian. And I'm going to s remove the clone. Okay, the you see the clone will disappear without you knowing the clone disappear if you don't under, if you don't understand that let me do the second clone okay so now go back to the fourth the original clone original adrian he's gonna fly and stick back stick to the right hand side adrian adrian number two let's get the position right first all right Okay, no, notice there's no keyframe here. Once I move move the clip in the preview panel, the keyframe will appear. Boop, you saw that? Let's move him to overlap Adrian clone number two. Just test it first. Overlap Adrian clone number two. Okay. Okay, so this is when I am going to remove Adrian clone number two. I will stop here, reduce the size. Okay, stop here. So, Adrian clone number two will disappear here, right? Can you see? It will disappear here. And now, let's continue. Select the original clone number four again. He's going to fly to the third clone. Okay, pose. Uh, why is there another Adrian coming in? Let me remove that Adrian. Okay, the, the Adrian coming in is from the original clip. So it seems like my background clip is not long enough. So uh, here's my trick. See, bonus bonus lesson. How to make a clip longer, a video clip longer if, if it's not long enough. I will do slow-mo. So let me slow down. Slow down maybe by just 0 0.6, 0 0.7. So it's being stretched. Now maybe half speed 0.6 slow down. Okay, so I'm slowing down the empty room. I'm slowing down the empty room. Okay, let's go back to the fourth 
Adrian is gonna fly up and stick. Stick. Okay, this is the position. Okay, let's move this up and stick. Smaller a bit. Okay, this one is a bit difficult. Let me undo. Let's not make him small. Make him large. Fry up and stick. Okay, stick. Now, behind him, that agent will end here and will disappear. Okay, so let's just play back a little while and see. Okay, so yo right. I haven't finished it, I haven't finished it. He's supposed to come down. He's supposed to drop down. So how how to drop down? Fourth Adrian again, the original Adrian. He's going to drop down. Uh find the dropping point. Okay. Here he start walking, so he drop he land he landed here. So add a keyframe. Add a keyframe. Okay, I'm going to create effect here. The last agent will stay there for a little while before it drops down. Stay there for a little while. And uh, add a keyframe here. Okay, go back to this keyframe. Because after this keyframe, he, he walk, this keyframe, he walks. So this keyframe, he's going to come down again. Full frame, right? Full frame. And then he walk away. So it looks like this. Boom. Okay. okay. You notice it comes down very unnaturally. Yeah, okay. floats down. So when you drop a ball, the initial stage is fast or slow. Slow, right? As it goes down nearer to the ground, it goes faster, right? So to, to make this more natural, okay. we are going to add a graph in between these two clips. And from slow to fast will be ease out, ease in, ease in number one. Okay, you see that? The fall is natural now. Zoop. You can hear the zoop. You can see the book, right? Okay, so, and then he walks away. It's not over yet, huh? there's one more. All right, I think the last thing is the sound effect. Sound effect. Okay, that's very interesting sound effect. If you hear the original, can you, can you, if you're watching this video, tell me what sound effect is this? Okay, when I stick back. Okay, the sticking back sound, sticking back. You'll be surprised what that sound effect. It sounds very sticky, right? But actually, I'll show you. I'll show you, I'll show you exactly what I did. Okay, I'll show you exactly what I did. Okay, I'm gonna find the position first here. Okay, I go up. All right, add the sound effect here. Go to audio, go to effects. This one is under ambience. Ambience, ambience, um, pop, 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 ambience. Um, do I see it? Creepy rolling rocks. <laughs> it's called rolling rocks. So I tap on the plus button to add. Watch. Okay, I should start when I when my feet lift off. All right, let's let's synchronize the sound. Okay. Okay. Pop. Finish here. I should.
split the sound effect. I don't want the rest of the sound effect. Delete. I'm going to copy this. Copy this piece and use it for the second one when it start moving. Yeah, here. Okay. Okay, it's no longer a bit because it finish, finishes off here. So extend the sound effect. Okay, sounds like, sounds very sticky, right? Okay, let's copy this copy this uh, sound effect, copy, and time it so nice that some way vote. Okay, once I touch the clone pop, I should end the sound effect. Okay, and I always definitely have to do this when I touch the floor. I definitely got to add a, a boop sound, which is under fight, which is... Okay, this one. Landing. Align it properly. All right. Not right, huh? Okay. So now let's let's cut off. Let's trim off everything nicely. Mm, walk away, and then let's end it here and then below. Oh, no more already. No more. Okay. So basically, the video looks like this. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want the chapterized version of this course, go to the link below. Okay, if you can download my full video, uh, smartphone video making course, the link is also down below. All right, uh, feel free to leave questions in the comments or if you download my course, you can also leave the questions and let me know what else you want me to make. Okay, uh, today I'm just answering the question uh, for those who wants me to expand on that one minute tutorial. Now it has become a how many hours tutorial? A one hour, seven minute tutorial. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this one hour, seven minute tutorial. Okay, if you haven't done so, subscribe, leave your comments, share this video with your friends. And uh, of course, hit the like button. All right, hit the like button. And that brings me to the end of today's session. This is Adrian Lee from videolane.com. See you in the next one. Oh, wait. Just in case you are an amateur, you want to export this video. Okay, one more step. One more step. Okay, one more step. You are done, and then you tap on the top right-hand corner on the arrow. Of course, the, the video was shot in 1080p, so I will export in 1080p, 30 frames per second. And tap on export. Okay, it's exporting now. Okay, the process is the same for on uh, on iPhone. Okay, right now I'm demonstrating this on on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Android phone. Okay, all right. So it's exported. Let's go to the gallery. My I use Google Photos as my gallery. Go all the way to the beginning and watch. 18 seconds long. Give yourself a big hand. Okay, so post this 
Okay, if you, if you happen to do this, tag me, tag me, tag me at Adrian Video Image so that I can go and see and enjoy your video, alright? Do a variation, come up with your own story, come up with your own story. Okay, this is Adrian Lee from Adrian Video Image or the other channel is Video Lane. See you in the next one.